Hello, everybody. It is me, Pacific, and yep, you've guessed it. It's Sunday afternoon in good old freezing cold, snowy Colorado. Got six inches out here in Lakewood last night. And it's that time to read Craigslist, Colorado, Denver metro area, high quality women seeking men. Let's read to you the bill of fare. How about something specific? 26-year-old faceless woman, two pictures, one of her waist, and uh, yeah, she's a plumper, and she's very plumper, and this is what she says in Aurora, Colorado. <clears throat> I wish I could post a picture of my face here, but I won't. Well, if you wish you could, and you won't, hmm. Huh. I will be happy to share through email, though. I am looking for a friend to start. If more comes of it, great. But let's have fun, get to know each other, and hang out in our free time. As for me, I have my own place and a full-time job, car. I have my SHIT together. No kids. I work hard and play hard. Hmm. But your body is plumpish. Okay. Uh, I would say she's getting close to obese. My family means everything to me. I enjoy to go out and have a few drinks with friends on the weekends. I am a sports fanatic. Ugh, red flags. She likes to drink and sports fanatic. Most nights you can watch me in bed watching Sports Center. I am a relatively positive person. No drama here. There's a lot more to me, but I will say that for that save that for conversation. Please attach a picture in the first email and I will reply with a picture myself. Tell me about yourself. Put yellow in the subject line. Yeah. Do people really have their SHIT together? I'm just wondering. The more I watch what goes on in the world, I don't think anybody's got it all together. Here's a mature gentleman wanted 40 years old near the tech center. You need some naughty fun, and I need new shoes. Let's help each other out. Safe, drama-free, classy. Please be the same. Reply with a bit about you. Over 30, please. <laughs> I love Denver people. They, they don't know the definition of words. Let, let me read that one more time so that my viewers can get the gist of this. You need some naughty fun. And I need new shoes. Let's help each other out. Safe, drama-free, classy. Um, yeah. <clears throat> you know what I mean, Vern? This woman wants somebody classy, but she's trading sex for shoes. Okay. Moving right along. Let's, let's, let's check this. Oh, here's what every man dreams of. This is what every male dreams of. Looking for a texting buddy. 25, Lakewood, describes herself as curvy. Another word for fat. <clears throat> Hello, looking for a texting buddy. Possibly more. I'm super bored on this Super Bowl Sunday. Send me an email with your number and a little about yourself. Pick for pick will not respond if you send... D-I-C-K picks. In the subject line, tell me your favorite color. My favorite color is text message white. Jeez. <laughs> I want something unique. This is a 55-year-old Lakewood woman. Something in the middle of a friends with benefits and a long-term relationship. Is that even possible? What the heck is that? Her body is curvy. She's 55 years old and single. I'm a secure, stable, professional businesswoman. What are you doing on Craigslist? I work and have a busy life. Then what are you looking for a man? I would like to have a special man to spend some time with. You're busy. I have all the normal requirements most men ask for. Normal requirements? Curvy? Hmm, I don't know about that. But I do have a non-vanilla side. 55, curvy, active, educated, well-traveled, no children, but I like them. I have some curves but look great in a cocktail dress. Yes, I have one. I like out-of-the-box thinking. So far, she's not out-of-the-box, is she, viewers? Just like everybody else, Curvy likes to drink cocktail dress. You get the picture, and I've got it all together. I'm a secure, stable, professional businesswoman. And I don't have time for anybody, but I want a man. 
I like to do just about everything, museum to Daytona, music venue to an alpine lake, funky performing arts to road tripping. Please notice, viewers, that everything that she likes involves the man spending his paycheck. I like a sharp, inquisitive mind, slightly warped as a plus. Mine is both. <laughs> That's comforting. Uh, let's see. You, white, 40 to 55, educated, not a lot of baggage. I know, we all have some. Interested in a man that is at least young at heart. I don't want you to remind me of my dad's friends. Non-smoker, casual drinker, no married men. Picture is a must. Send one, and I'll be happy to send one back. Liability, liability, liability. Here we go. Super Bowl or something. 35 years old. Denver. Hi, checking if anyone is free and interested in catching some of the game. Drinks, food, etc. I'm pleasant. You be as well, and we'll get along great. Pick with response. Weed out the crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> Catch there is, she'll be with you if you spend all the money and buy her everything she wants. Okay. Artsy lady seeks funny romantic partner. 31, Edgewater. That is a little EV suburb between Denver and Lakewood. I'm looking for, actually, Wheat Ridge. I'm looking for a man that is romantic and sweet. Someone with a good job. Not because I'm materialistic, but because I like an independent partner that I can depend on. <laughs> yeah, you want his money. 30 to 45, not bald. Sorry, I like to play with hair. 5'9 or taller. Hey, I qualify viewers. I'm 5'9 because I'm tall. I'd rather have a bit of chub than super muscles or skinny guy, but that's not so important. Hmm, that rules me out. I would be called skinny. Me, I like to have adventures. I like to laugh. I like to cook. I love music. What? She likes to cook? Now that's rare. I love music and love to dance like a crazy person. I'm 5'9, 150 pounds, green eyes. I go to the gym three times a week, so it'd be nice if you like being fit or have an interest in being semi-healthy. I got you beat, lady. I don't go to the gym at all, and I'll bet you I'm in better shape than you are. I find a lot of things attractive, so please don't be shy because you may be what I'm looking for. Please send pick with response so I have a phase to go with the conversation. I'll send one in response. Deal breaker. Don't reply, please. Big ego. Selfish. No job. Drunk. No car. Bad hygiene. Bad temper. And chain smoker. Hmm. Chain smoker. So, does she smoke? I don't know. Wow. <clears throat> Companionship, 50 years old. Let's see her pictures. And she's kind of cutish in her own way. No, no. Then you see the rest of the pictures. Yep, she looks like a beer party girl. I am a fun. Hello there. I am a fun, sweet woman who loves to laugh. I am single. And have two wonderful children who are both grown, successful, and living on their own. I am fully independent, very satisfied with where I am in life. If you're satisfied, what are you looking for a boyfriend for? I have enjoyed being single for several years, but at this point I would like to find a companion to share the many joys of life with. I love, love the outdoors and go hiking, camping, climbing, and I'm always up for a new outdoor adventure. I play golf, softball, love to water ski, and I've always enjoyed watching and playing sports. I love to exercise and primarily do CrossFit yoga, and Zumba, but enjoy all types of exercise. I have gained 15 pounds over the last year and gotten out of shape. I was a year ago, got, gotten out of the shape I was a year ago. I would like to find someone who would like to get in shape together. My ultimate goal is to compete in the 2016 Master Level CrossFit Games and would love someone to support me through this while I support them and their fitness goals as well. It would be fantastic to find a man who'd like to get in shape together, challenge one another, and make the experience fun and upbeat. You know what? I'm sorry to say this, but if a lady can't do it on her own, he, I'm going to tell you all something. Pacific has been with women that I have had to... Have you ever taken a bicycle pump, you know, with a hole in it? You can stand there and go, and then it's not filling up. I've been around people that whine to me about the same problems. There's a woman at work. She complains that somebody takes her parking spot. We get perfect attendance. We get our own numbered parking spot. I learned a long time ago. I got mine this year, and I gave it away the first day. I said, I don't want it. I'm not parking there. I park at the back of the lot and walk. You don't want your coveted spot? Nope. I gave it to one of the other ladies in there. And you know why? Because this is what happens. Somebody parks in the spot, and everybody's getting all bent out of shape. Somebody parked in my spot. 
goes to management. Management says, well, you know, you should go and tell them. The next day, somebody else parks there. And the next day, somebody else parks there. And I've watched a woman at work stress and stress and stress about this every day. The day after, the two days after my son had an accident, I come into work and this woman comes up to me and I said, you know what? I've got bigger things going on right now than to worry about you and somebody parking in your spot. I'm sorry to be insensitive, but my son was in a bad accident. His world, is uh, there's so much going on right now. I, 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 I got to go. And I couldn't believe it. And the very next day, same thing. And, you know, when you try to give people advice and they don't change, and when you try to be there for them and you keep pumping that bicycle pump and air's not taken, oh, excuse me, and it's going right out that tire, yeah, that's a problem. You got to get away from those people. So I got way off on a rabbit trail. I'm looking for men in their 40s and 50s with a young and fun spirit like me. I am in my early 50s, but feel and act much younger. Who knows what that means? I'm not looking to find Brad Pitt, just a confident man who is genuine and kind and takes care of himself. I'm not interested in hearing from those only looking for sex or sexual relationship. I understand and support those endeavors, but that's not why I'm here. There are plenty of women looking for only sex, so please divert your responses to those ladies, not me. Just the fact that women put all that on here is dumb. If you find yourself looking for the same thing as I am, I'd love to hear from you. Please include a picture in your reply. Otherwise, I will not respond. Have a great day. Yes, viewers, I make it my personal ambition to, I've decided I'm going to get in shape, and I really want to find a girlfriend that's going to help me do that. I'm going to tell you something. Fitness and health is up to you, the individual, and you must make a conscientious choice to decide whether you're going to work out and take care of your body yourself. If you have to have somebody to motivate you to do that, well, then hmm, maybe that's not such a good idea. I'm sorry. I'm opinionated about these because I've seen so many stupid ding-dong Facebook ads here in or Facebook. Craigslist ads here in Denver, Colorado. All right. Fun. This is one everybody wants. Fun Foxy BBW for cute, creative Babe Asaurus. <laughs> 32 years old. Ah, this ought to be rich. So I've been in Denver about six months now and haven't had much luck sorting out the riff raff on OK Cupid and figure this might be worth a shot. You went from OK Cupid down to Craigslist and think you're going to get rid of riff raff? Let me tell you something, honey. Looking at the women's ads, I can guarantee you. There's pretty much nothing but riffraff on Craigslist. <sighs> While I have no problem cooking a dope meal, <clears throat> working on a project, cooking or catching his show, or watching Robocop on cable by myself, I can't help but feel like it would be infinitely more awesome with a fun local babe by my side. Am I right? By the way, those are all ran together. No uh, space in between. About me, 32, 5'9", blonde, green eyes, dumb tattoos, BBW babe, booty for days, culinary professional, so Midwestern it hurts. Basically, I'm a charma, yeah. What? Junk I dig, cooking, baking, arts, farts, crafts, cats, tacos, museums, old lady, SHIT, like jigsaw puzzles, PBS, and reading in the park, live music and comedy, thrifting, graphic novels, meditation, yoga, etc. About you, I tend to gravitate towards fellas, fellas, who are total smarties, creative work with their own, with their hands, can throw down in the kitchen, are grounded and more enlightened than most, just meaning that they are empath empathetic, <coughs> excuse me, thoughtful, GGG, I don't know what that is, and aren't afraid of barfy, SHIT-like feelings, bonus points for tattoos, willingness to go to dancing, and being hella into pinball, no bros, burnout, stoners, or man babies, por favor. Also, if it matters, I don't drink, don't care if you do, but I probably won't go to the bar with you, just a heads up, word, word. <laughs> Can I just say something? If you were to ask me specific, would you respond to that ad? Uh, no. I'm not necessarily looking for a boyfriend, but I am up for keeping an open mind about things, and at the very least, I'm holding out for someone worth spending my limited free time with. Even if we end up just as just friends, I want to like knowing that you exist in a world, you know? 
If this resonates at all, drop me a line, dude, and make it cute. Duh, pick for pick and all that Craigslist jazz. Shh. Yeah, okay. I think we're going to pass on that. Date at 3 today, Sunday Super Bowl football, 39. Hi, men. Looking to go with one man today or join in on current plans for the day. I thought it would be nice to watch a Super Bowl with some cool peeps. Let me know. I am white, average height, and full-figured, pretty overweight woman with a great personality. Talk to me. What's going on with you today? Only fun, nice may reply. My name is Molly. Actually, my name Molly, not is Molly. New to the area. WF seeking BM. That's white female seems a black man. Newcomer to the Denver area. Love music, outdoors, coffee, and good food. Hoping to find someone to share these things with. Please respond with the radio station call letters you listen to most or your favorite musical artist. <clears throat> Don't know what to say about that. Body is average. Black Beauty seeks an intense, lasting affair. 34 years old. Coming to you from Aurora. Her status is partnered, and her body is curvy, and she's 5'2". My search continues. I'm 34, black, with a caramel complexion, curvy size, 14, fun, open-minded, intelligent, professional, 420 friendly. There we go, folks. Pot, braids, makes all the buzzers go off. Disease-free and creative. I'm in a long-term relationship, so discretion is a must. Isn't that nice? I'm cheating on my partner. <clears throat> and I want to be discreet. Wow, that, you know, okay. I am seeking someone to really be friends with, but you have the desire like me to be naughty when the mood strikes. I would prefer someone in a similar situation or understands and respects mine. I'm not looking for a quickie. Instead, I want someone to share care and form a true connection with. As friends, we can hang out, shop, go to movies, chat throughout the day, have a drink together, whatever friends do. But I do want someone who is serious and is 100% sure they want the extra stuff, too. I don't want to jump in anything, but I don't want a flake or someone who wants to exchange endless emails, either. I'm honest and trustworthy. Oh, yeah, you're cheating on your partner. Honest and trustworthy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. See, Denver women don't know the definition of words. I'll tell you what, folks, sarcasm is a must when you read this stuff. I'm honest and trustworthy and hoping you are the same. Actually, why don't you meet another man who's cheating on his wife? That'd be perfect for you all, right? And then when I find out who you are, I'll call your respective mates and say, guess what your boyfriend and your girlfriend is doing? Ha <laughs> ha, Dumpty Dumpty's head on a wall. Single... Our attached is fine. I prefer someone under 45. Any race welcome. I want to reignite that flame in our lives. Replies with pics and more than a few words. Move to the front. I hope to hear from you soon. <clears throat> I hope that backfires on her. Looking for a serious relationship at 25 years old. I'm 25 and a professional. I'm looking for a serious relationship with someone intelligent, affectionate, and stable. Do you like holding hands while you drive? That's a bonus. I prefer around my age. Please have morals and be clean. <laughs> okay, 25 years old. Yeah. Ah, here's somebody wrote this. R.E. In need of something different. Denver. Be aware of this woman. She is a scam artist. She doesn't have kids and is looking to rob you blind. Avoid at all costs. Somebody got burned. <laughs> and they do that here. You see a lot of those. Disappointed 41-year-old female in Lakewood. Had plans to watch the game. They fell through. Thought I would throw this out there. See if anyone else is in a similar situation. I would enjoy just getting out, having a few beers. Watching at least some of the game, depending on how things go. I'm in my 40s tall, just an average woman. Sent a response with photo. Let's see what we can find out there. I'm going to say something that's going to get me in trouble. Have you ever kissed, those of you that don't drink, have you ever kissed a woman who does? I don't like alcohol. I don't like the smell of it. And I've kissed a few women that had some, and it's like, <sighs> ah. No. And this is a woman who's disappointed because 
Yeah. Her plans fell through. She wants to go watch the Super Bowl and drown in some beer. Good foundation to start a relationship on, right? A great catch, Metro Denver area. Status single, body fit. Hi, guys. Looking still for a tall, single, white gentleman. Between 54 and 68 years old. Takes care of himself. Kind, caring, and funny. Intelligent, affectionate. Knows how to communicate, and he, too, searches for his best friend. To me, it starts with a friendship first, and the sex will follow. Don't you love women who want to educate us? To me, it starts with friendship first, then the sex later. Stupid little sayings that are unnecessary, and he posts. Many interests just to ask, see? And all she's done is make the guy say, well, I'm just going to be really friendly with her for a while, and then once I get the goal on and get down her pants, I'm out of here. Many interests... Just ask. I do not post pictures on the internet nor send them. I will give you an accurate physical description of myself. You can meet me and decide for yourself. People say I'm cute, short, slender, vivacious, funny, intelligent, and affectionate as well. Please me a physical description of what you look like. Interest, age, where you live, etc. Are you willing to just meet? Thanks. Will not respond to young men, married men, out of state. I do not do drugs of any kind. Okay. <laughs> This woman's asking a lot. Don't want to send a picture of yourself online. Then why are you posting online? And I'm going to meet you not knowing what you look like. We'll give an accurate description of yourself. I don't know if you're a cross-dresser, a tranny, a transgender, or a freak. Sounds to me like you might be related to Gypsy. She doesn't want to call me even though in my post... And, and, and I want to do an indent here. My viewers know that I've met nothing but a bunch of cheesy flakes on Craigslist. You know, women that call themselves Christians and then cuss at me and call me a dork and a whack job and all that. It's like, yeah, I see you're filled with the fruit of the spirit, right? Now, we're all imperfect and we all got a long way to go. But the year plus relationship online with Gypsy going round and round with me was not only entertaining, but it was irritating at the same time. And I thought... This woman, simply all she had to do was meet me, but instead sent pictures of herself with her shirt off and then telling me when she watched my Wine, Women, and Song video of how horribly wretched I was and why I wouldn't date you. And if she'd have just said, I watched your video, I don't think you and I are a good match, I would have said, okay, thank you for watching, take care. But instead, I responded with, okay, you're being pretty moralistic about the things that I've done. Let me talk to you about the photos you sent me. Just going to hold you the same standard you're holding to me. You're wearing no shirt. And all the other shirts you have on are skimpy little itsy bitsy yellow polka dot bikini style type shirts. They weren't bikini, but that's me just being funny. And what did she do for a year? I was trying to show the length of my hair. Uh, let me see something. I'm going to illustrate. Anybody see this? Let me pull I gotta see myself as I do this so I can do this right. Okay, pretend this is my hair, right? Okay, I got a sweater on. Can you tell? Can you guys tell the length of my hair? Or, wait a minute, hold on here. We're gonna get down and get down and boogie. Let's do this, okay? Let's do this just for fun. I'm a guy so I can take off my shirt. Oh yeah, watch this. See, this is the stuff that women here are really awesome about double standard, judging us men, being so hard on us. Now, let me tell you, does that make my hair more noticeable? Now, let me try this. Okay, let's see. Can you see that? Okay, so white skin, black sweater. You still see my hair, right? Wait a minute. I'm showing my nipples, though. That's wrong. So, better get dressed. Why am I saying this? Why am I being sarcastic? That woman went round with me for a year on different things. And then she continued to watch my channel to tell me what a moron I was. I liked that. That was awesome. And <laughs> okay, maybe I'm double standard, but I just don't feel it's wrong for me to be shirtless in a video. I'm a guy. But when women are showing things showing their sexuality or their sensual areas. What they don't realize is that we guys do see that. And she was an attractive woman. Her heart is ugly as it, but she was attractive. Not a 10, 
but not bad looking at all. And for her to sit there and justify that is beyond ridiculous. And I've seen more women calling themselves Christians post. Heavy, fat women with an attitude, good looking women with an attitude. I want a godly man. I want a man who's close to Jesus. Beth in Hong Kong, she is not an American woman. She was not on Craigslist. But what attracted me to her was her post. She had no scantily clad photos, but she said, I want a man who's close to God. I, I was dumb. I was in my infancy on the internet back then. Four years later, Beth was anything but close to God. She was extremely immature, extremely demanding, extremely rude, extremely spendy, and a host of other problems. And Pacific has nobody to blame but himself for that one. But I've dated a few women on Craigslist, quite a few, because it's entertainment. I'd rather go out and do something with somebody and hopefully come out of that alive and have an experience to talk about. I went to lunch with a very good-looking 40-year-old black woman. Stunning, long black hair, very pretty. I was not her type. She was a professional, but we had a nice lunch. I went out with a blonde, blonde woman, kind of dyed blonde, with brown, this and that. Very good-looking. Took her to Red Lobster, and the very next day, I said, sent her text saying, good morning. Nothing happened. I sent her an hour later like, hey, how you doing? Nothing. And she had told me to call her on her break. So I did. I let the voice message said, hey, I haven't heard from you. Just wondered, are you okay? She texted me back saying, I don't think things are going to work with us. You're too clingy. <laughs> I'm clingy. I kid you not. I did not bombard her with text, viewers. And it dawned on me. She got a free dinner at Red Lobster. I was the dummy. That's what she was after. See ya. Let's take my New Year's Eve date. She was special. Remember the Latvian woman? Oh boy, that was fun. She got mad at me because I told her <clears throat> that this woman I dated, she, kissing her, she smoked so much it was like licking an ashtray. I told her that on the phone before I actually met her. And instead of saying, you know, that comment really offends me, I smoke a lot, so this shouldn't be. She goes, oh, well, I smoke. Do you? Yes, but not that much. And I smoke outside, and I don't smell like a cigarette. Okay. Dumb me. When I was with her, she couldn't stop. And she threw that in my face at Cherry Creek Mall when I picked her up and took her. I hadn't even said a word about that. You were so horrible to say that on the phone. Why did you go out with me? Why did you go out with me? I said, you told me you smoked rarely, that you smoked on your back deck when you smoked and you didn't smell like it. And I thought, well, you know, and you even said that you're willing to quit. You lied, not me. Then to top it off, we went to Red Lobster too. Her phone rings and she starts biatching with a guy that lived in her apartment for a week. And you know, all that time I was with her, all she did was complain about all the different men, her husband, everybody. I mean, on and on and on. <laughs> there are all kinds of women on here that are married, cheating on their husbands. And I did. I met a woman that I really liked who left her husband and got involved with me and then broke up with me and brought the husband back. And the last I heard, fortunately, she's trying to stay committed to that marriage. We don't contact each other. And that's good. But you read these ads by women and they're sickening. They're sick, 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 sick. And I have come to the conclusion that 90% of the women on Craigslist are obese. 90%. I'm probably rating a high. And the 10% that are attractive and good looking, forget it. I mean, from a Christian perspective, it's a landmine for me. I'm into yoga. I'm into this. I'm into Eastern religion. I'm into everything and anything. Curvy woman seeking a stable man. Wow, look at this long list. 
I am looking for a good man, someone who's mature, financially stable, and treats me right. I have a career, but have been very unhappy in my current situation and looking to leave my company this spring. I have my own place. Whoa, wait a minute. You want somebody who's financially stable, then you're going to leave your job. Okay. I have my own place and enjoy the peacefulness of being on my own. However, I want a man in my life too. I am looking for a man who will be at a point in life that money is not a concern and is looking for a woman to call his own. I have been separated two years with divorce paperwork underway. <laughs> okay. There's very little drama associated with that, but I still find it heartbreaking that it couldn't work out. Okay. No, rule number one. You don't get on a dating site and post that. But life isn't perfect. I know I have a lot to offer. So if this sounds like a good fit, let me know. I'm excited to get life started again. I'm 35, 5, size 18, and wear 38 double Ds. I'm not a skinny skeleton. Why would you tell somebody your bra size on a dating site? I have some meat on my bones and curves in all the right places. And I'm sure you do. If you like tiny chicks, I'm not for you. But if I desire a soft, feminine, Rubenesque figure, I'm your gal. Why should you pick me? I'm smiley, nice, relaxed, and easygoing. I try and have a positive outlook and find the silver linings to situations. I'm respectful and caring. I enjoy taking care of my man. I can do the household shopping, cleaning, and cooking. I like things clean and organized. I won't talk your ear off. Quiet time is not always a bad thing. I have a big heart. I have my bachelor's degree, and unfortunately, the student loans to prove it. Oh, stop right there. This woman's looking for a sugar daddy. I'm going to quit my job because I'm tired of it. And she wants a man to take care of her. And she'll stay at home and be your domestic helper. Isn't that special? Other than student loans and my vehicle loan, I have almost no debt. Wow, that's great. I have no debt at all, baby. You're definitely not for me. I do not spend money foolishly. I travel well. I have my passport. I have long, thick hair that I get compliments on all the time. Toot my horn. I give great back and body rubs. Now, that would suck me in in a minute. That right there. That right there would suck me in. A woman that massages me? Oh, yeah. See, we'll talk about the good and the bad. I easily get along with most everyone. Yeah, you better ask everybody that knows her first. I am the type you can be proud to bring home to family and introduce to your friends. You can trust me. I keep my mouth shut and do as I am asked. Oh, now that's rare. If she really does that, maybe she would be worth pursuing. I keep my nails and toes looking cute. All right, guys, how many of you checked out a woman? Wow, she's got sexy toes, man. Oh, jeez. I'm naturally more on the submissive side. I won't let you treat me like a doormat, but I won't be able to trust you to take. But I want to be able to trust you to take care of me. I wear makeup to enhance my cuteness, but don't smush it on to look fake and overdone. I only drink socially and can handle my liquor. I've learned my lessons in life when it comes to drinking and know when to stop or excuse myself before things get out of hand. I do not smoke. Except I do enjoy the occasional cigar. A woman with a cigar. That's a deal breaker. I'll tell you what I'll do, Rodney. I'll make you a deal down on 33rd Street. But you're going to have to get consent from my boss. Never done any hard drugs. I am 420 friendly. But it does not define who I am. I am non-judgmental. I'll bet you a million dollars if I spent 10 minutes with her telling her my views, she'd be very judgmental. Bet me. I love animals. I drive well. I can handle big trucks, hook up and pull trailers, drive boats and hook up a camper to the camping site. Essentials. I don't have children. I'm not afraid to get a little dirty if necessary, but it's up to me to also look cute for you. So I'll leave the dirty stuff to you or the professionals. Ha ha. I'm not overly obsessed about body image. I'm curvy. That's how I am. End of story. I don't complain about my imperfections like so many women do. I can be naughty when you least expect it. I like to have fun. I have an insatiable appetite for sex. These are things you definitely want to put on a dating site, right? I'm geared towards traditional relationship roles. You're the man and I'm the woman. You take care of things outside the home and I support you by taking care of the home front. Yep. Here we go. She's tired of working, folks. Now she wants to come home and be cozy and sit around and get even fatter while you do it all. Mm -hmm. I want my t next relationship to be lifelong. I'm not tied to Denver. I have no problem traveling or relocating somewhere else. 
I'm not glued to my phone. I think it is sad how people don't interact as much anymore. Now, that's a plus. I enjoy food, cooking, and keeping my man fed. I like that. I don't nag or badger. Love that. You are who you are, and I am who I am. We either get along or we don't. I am always joking around. Now, that gets old. I'm a lady in public, a whore in bed, and a chef in the kitchen. I do like that, believe it or not. I know the difference between you or your, there, there, and there. I have a dirty mind and laugh at offensive jokes. Mm, that's not cool. I like to do sweet things for my man, like leave a love note in his pocket. I'm young enough to have a blast, but mature enough to appreciate the finer things in life. Boy, this is a novel. What I desire, strong, dominant man. This doesn't mean I like jerks or overly possessive wife beaters. What this means is I like confident, a confident man who knows what he wants and isn't shy or timid about being a man. I like a man who takes charge in and out of the bedroom. I'm naturally submissive, so I desire a man who is naturally dominant. I need a man who knows how to successfully manage money. No one likes a deadbeat or doesn't have a penny to support himself. I enjoy a man who does not smoke. I cannot stand kissing a smoker, but you're far too old friendly, baby. I don't want to smell that. Jeez. I'd prefer a man with no young children. But it's not a deal breaker. It's tough as a female coming into that kind of a situation. I don't enjoy constantly coming in second to your children. I'm not a maniac and do understand that children come first. However, I don't want to be pushed to the side. I expect you to open doors for me and then smack my ass as I walk past. <laughs> Gosh. My pitfalls. I'm not a morning person. Now, you're out, babe. Pacific Ocean Asia gets up at 2.30 in the morning. And if you're not a morning person, you're not the girl for me. So just move right along. I will get up early if I need to, but my body and brain don't like it. Simple as that. Long-term financial planning is not a strength of mine. My mind just isn't wired that way. I get cold easily, but what woman doesn't? Ah, I wouldn't date her. Not my type of room. Here's an eternal optimist. 57, the suburb of Westminster, Colorado. I am cute, classy, and a happy brunette. I like the ones who think they're cute. Watch out. Looking for a fun, kind, tall, single white male. Professional between 47 and 61 for, for friendship and dating. I love going out on the town, concerts, movies, hikes, travel, and trying different restaurants. Please include a photo with you. Your first message, it would be great if we click. Thanks. Yep. I like doing all the things that your wallets can pay for. You notice that? Most of the women don't say a darn thing they can offer. They just tell you what they want to do and where you're going to take them. Here's a stupid picture of a very obese woman with her cleavage showing. It looks like a reverse butt. The cheeks are so close together, it looks like her butt cheeks. And she's got her tongue out like this. Hello, pick for pick, don't worry, I'm cute. Some say gorgeous and others say beautiful. No, you're not. I'm not looking for NSA, friends with benefits. I have two children. I have a great career, a vehicle, no criminal background. I look good in a dress or jeans. I like football, poker, trying new restaurants, traveling. I'm not a Broncos fan, but do not care if you are. I'm a single mom, so my time is limited. Who knows, maybe you are the one I am in search of. This one's 31 years old, curvy body, 5'2", single, lives in Aurora. Are you the type of guy you would want your daughter to date? Now, that's a weird question. If I have a daughter, I don't want her dating me. Hello? Spontaneous, spontaneous para, para analogy, expensive taste, and adrenaline craving girl, 19 Aurora. Another curvy. This one, 19, showing the young or narcissistic selfish. Looking for someone to literally kick it with from time to time and who, hold, who can hold intellectual conversations. Yeah, I smoke marijuana and drink pink Moscato on almost a daily basis. <laughs> Wow, intelligent conversation. Oh, yeah. Don't you hate the conservatives? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would love to have a new friend or new friends that can contribute and participate in these habits. I've done many things from spelunking Glenwood Caverns to scuba diving with whale sharks in Isla Mujeres. I am still Stoked to go on many more crazy adventures and would love the extra company. I'm not looking for another anything specific on here. And my only request is that you are open-minded enough to take the chance to get to know someone that you have never crossed paths with. 
Yeah, I wonder if you could do that with me, lady. I bet you if I applied, not that I would because of your smoking issues and drinking, but you wouldn't give me the time of day. I stand 5'5 five, five and a height, weight, proportionate. Yes, I'm on the thicker side, but definitely not fat or overweight. <laughs> I love that. We just always got to water that down and make it sound nice. I have long curly black hair and I'm pretty much covered in tattoos. Wow, that's awesome. A wallpapered woman. Just to give you a short description of what I look like, I am more than happy to send a photo in our emails. I just want to get through the initial spam screening before I put out a photo laugh out loud. I drive my own car, hold a degree, and have a well-paying job. I expect you to have the same. If not, I don't see there being a fair share of effort put in the friendship relationship. Wait a minute, let's back up. Um, my only request date is that you are open-minded enough to take the chance to get to know someone that you may have never crossed paths with, but then she says, you got to be just like her, it's agreed, and, um, yeah, yeah, isn't that awesome? And a well-paying job, hmm, I'm not good with checking my email, nor am I interested in having a pen pal, in your reply, please include your name, age, and photo, if there is an interest, I will gladly send over my photo, my phone number, so that we can text. Don't underestimate the potential of how great we could turn out together, to be together, laugh out loud. My Xbox is taking forever to update, so some nice small chat would be nice while I wait. Aha. I am typically interested in older men, 25 to 35, I and I love a man with a great smile. I'm done reading this tripe. Please notice, with the exception of one woman, none of them had anything to offer a man. I'm cute, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I want, I want, I want. Colorado Craigslist women. <laughs> Siskel and Ebert, give it a thumbs down. You know, it's interesting the way women have judged me since I've been out here. They, they very, very hateful. When I have responded to some of these posts, said, wow, I'm reading your post, and I'm sorry, but I just have to say you're really kind of a liability. Look at your attitude in here. Look at what you're saying. You want a successful slender. You say you're not into fat men, but you said you're chunky. You, you want a guy with a well-paying job, but you don't tell us what you do. Uh, you know, lady, get real. And guess what they write back almost every single time? F you. If you write me again, I'll tender you in for harassment. I responded to your post one time. That is not harassment. I didn't say F you comments. Didn't call you names. I just said your post is crappy. Um, a little constructive coaching, lady. If you want to date... I know you think you're God's gift to men, but if you really want to meet a nice guy, maybe your post ought to reflect that you're nice. But actually, women in America today, especially in Colorado, their posts alone show you that virtually 99% of the posts you see on Craigslist, just reading them, if you read them with a discerning, scrutinizing eyeball and have half an ounce of mental geniusness to you, you read these posts and you come away with, relationally, this woman would be a freaking disaster. High maintenance. I'm fat. If you don't like it, kiss my butt. I'm sorry, but when I see overweight women, and when I talk about overweight, I guess I better define that. How about if we talk about women that are somewhere between 50 or more pounds overweight? How about if we talk about women who've got ripples all under here and sagging, bagging skin? How about stomach overhanging, overhanging pelvic area, double chins? Um, yeah. I don't care if you got 38 double D's. You're not a turn on. That to me signifies you're going to be really moody. You're going to be somebody who's unwilling to change. And you're going to be a biatch. I know. I've had 48 years in the last 20 years of my life with the huge surge in obesity in this country. I've watched the common denominator pop up over and over again. Heavy white women or heavy even Hispanic women and a lot of heavy black women in America can be very rude and hateful. I'm nice to people and I've had them make rude comments. You're so skinny. <laughs> Actually, I am totally HWP, height, weight, proportion. I am in my body mass index 
to a flaw. Now let me say something. On my Facebook, that woman that I posted on there, posted on there, the, the Russian woman who's got the built arms, she's flat out sexy. She's thicker, but in a good way. We don't see this big paunch she got hanging over anything like that. I think she's just big boned model caliber. And I've seen some women that are of a little bit of pudge, and they're cute. I have actually eyeballed women that I've known thinking, you know, they're not a 10, but they're cute. When I talk about obesity, I'm talking about the kind that shows up on Craigslist that just, if I looked across the bench seat of my truck, I would not be proud, be proud to be seen with that woman. Women that sit around watching sports, women that like to curl up in bed watching TV. I am not into that. I don't want to be with a woman who curls up. I don't watch TV in the bed. I don't want a TV in the bedroom. And any woman that wants to play their television while I'm asleep or it keeps me up, that is not going to fly. That television set is going to go right out on the Pacific Ocean and sink like a stone. The other thing I'm looking at today is all these women that want to be obsessed with texting and social media to the point that that takes so much preeminence over an actual relationship with somebody. And it's sad. Women in America know, and especially in Colorado, that virtually every woman, whether she's an absolute liability or not, men go after them. That's what's sad about men. Men desperately want to be involved with a woman and women know that and that's why they play the attitude and do these things out of all the women that I've met on Craigslist and dated the only one that was a decent lunch date was the black woman the other ones were fluties and flakes and high maintenance or users I met a Hispanic woman who brought her adult daughter with her and then wanted to do it for the second date. And I said, I said, you know what? Then we're not going out. If you can't go by yourself the second date, well, I need her to interpret. No. And you know what was funny? I got on Zeus. I didn't even hear about it. It was in my email inbox. And I thought, well, I'll try this out. I'm looking and I see her. I messaged her. I said, hey, how are you? And she was just playing the field, and I'd see her on at all hours and stuff. And I said, have you found anybody? Oh, no, not yet. And uh, she wanted to go to dinner, and I said, well, I said, I'll pick you up. Oh, but can I bring my daughter? I said, you did that once. We're not doing that twice. Okay, then, then um, maybe we can't go then. I said, no, maybe we are not going to go. And that was it. I didn't contact her again. And I talked to somebody at my workplace said, there are Hispanic women that do that a lot in Denver. The ones from Mexico come over, they bring their adult daughter, and it's basically a way to get free food for some of their family members. Isn't that sleazy? So why does Pacific talk about this stuff? Because I just gotta. I can honestly say, and there's a lot of pretty women out here in Colorado, but I can honestly say that the minute a woman opens up her mouth in this area, I just go, oh, no, no. And uh, it was interesting. I was talking to a coworker the other day. He was born and raised here. He's in his 50s. He's respected by everybody at work. And uh, I told him about my observations on Denver, the area. And he said, Denver's not a friendly city. And he's a positive, upbeat guy. Always tries to see the good in things. He said, this is not a friendly city. I said, but you were born here. And you're saying that. He says, it's obvious, Pacific. Listen to the way people talk. Look at, look at the way they are. And he said, no, this is not a friendly city at all. Pacific has been here since 2012. And I have made no close friends here in Denver at all. The church I started going to two months ago, they've actually shown more friendliness than any of the churches I've gone to combined. And it's been nice. The pastor actually shakes my hand, says, how are you? Good to see you. 
I mean, the guy's cool. I was thinking of my cousin in Washington. I thought he would love this past. All right, sports fans, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Pacific's not weighed in on anything. All that racket about the New England Patriots playing with underinflated footballs. What a bunch of filthy cheaters. I hope Seattle wins, if that's true. I'm going to vote West Coast simply because I have a personal preferential favor towards the city of Seattle. You know, if New England wants to play fair football, which I'm sure everybody's checking those footballs. They'll be talking a lot about deflated footballs. I know this is going to sound like, wow, Pacific, what time or an era are you living in? I'm not into a woman that's into sports. I'm not into a woman who's going to stand in the stands and go, go Broncos! I just, I can't get into that. I'm old school. Some things need to be left alone for men. I'm sorry, men go to baseball games. Men go to football games. And that's a place it should be men only. I, I actually have an opinion. There are just some things that need to be reserved for males. And conversely, there are some things that need to be reserved for females. Somebody said golf stands for gentlemen only, ladies forbidden. Golf. Love that. That doesn't mean that if I'm married to a wife, I don't want her in my world, but Pacific is not sports oriented. I watch a little football, but I'm not. All my life, I've been fascinated by communications and radio and transportation and especially ships and the ocean. And that's my focus. And I'm not putting any of my fans down or in sports. That's great. Pacific has his opinions. I don't expect all my viewers to share. And I wanted to let some of my viewers know, it's interesting that I found out I can cam an audio on Skype, like or on Facebook, like Skype. And I thought that's cool. So trying to get to know you guys a little bit more and more. I might shout at you once in a while and look at your photos and this and that. Pacific Ocean Asia is about people. And I'm sorry if I don't get to all of you. It's very difficult to do. Juggling the all the various scenarios playing out in my wonderful life. But I thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And yes, I am picking on Colorado. I think that the bulk of the women in Colorado are just a complete thumbs down. And I know that if they watch this video, they go, that guy's a jerk. Hey, kiss my butt, Colorado women. That's all I can say. I am a nice guy. And I know I'm not perfect. But when I see this stuff, it's unreal. And and it's interesting because my viewers all confirm. And, and I believe Colorado is very much feministic and very independent. And you read that in the ads. I'm independent. I don't need anybody. But why do we got to? Why is that right up there? Women write posts on a defensive style. I don't need anybody. Well, then what are you doing on a dating site, ding dong? If all you want is sex, then move along. Can I say something, lady? Every man I know wants sex. When are you going to get that into your head? Some are gentlemen about it, and some are pigs about it. If the guy's a pig, do you think he's going to read that and go, uh-oh, she doesn't want to die. You, do you really think that's going to be a, a mosquito repellent? You're going to spray yourself with sexual off. Shh. And all the men that want sex are going to go, oh, like a mosquito and leave. I don't think so. Or the women that educate in their post, a relationship takes time to cultivate. It starts out as friends first, then it moves in as... Thank you for telling me that, lady. I'm a complete moron, and I'm just here to get sex. And, you know, thank you for telling me about that. <laughs> Don't date women like that. What I want to see in dating ads from women is this. Got to think about this. I 
want a man that I can fall in love with and falls in love with me and we just, everything grooves together. I'm the kind of woman that I like to please my man. No, 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 I'm not talking. I'm not talking that you gotta please the man at all expense, at all cost and do perverted things. I'm not talking about that. But the older I get and the more I've had my own experiences and for you women that are tuning in from Colorado, I went all the way to Hong Kong because of an online date. And I was wrapped up in that four years and it was a failure. And I've just still looked at online dating stuff and just seen what's out there. But if you really want to know statistically, it's not as effective as people want you to believe. There is no substitute for working in your environment and going to your church and living in your sphere and meeting somebody that way. Online dating is a meat market and it's for a bunch of flakes to sit there and be picky any picky roo instead of people just learning to work together and at first they might jar each other but then as time goes on they find an attraction develop because you get to know each other. You get drawn to each other. You see each other's work ethic. Dating doesn't allow, dating sites don't allow you to do that. And for all you women that don't want to show your pictures, and then you get on there and you don't post any pictures, but you demand us men. That's nice. So you can see my picture go, ah, I wouldn't date that dark. That's pretty risky for us. Or another one is I'm not going to call you, even though I on my post said one or two emails and then we must talk on the phone. First email from Gypsy. I am not going to give out my phone number. I was stalked. I was overpowered by another man. I am stalked. Let me forget that. Don't recall she said that. Boy, first response to my post. Not once in there, wow, I really like your pictures and I like what you wrote. And it was I. It was, here's all the crap I've been through. And I'm not going to give you my phone number. You can determine if I'm black or not. Or ebony. You're white. My post said, seeking ebony woman. I still to this day wonder why she contacted me. No, I'm not. She, by the way, hasn't written anymore. I blocked her, and I blocked her good. Finally, I found out how to do it, and she is history, and I love it. I haven't got anything from her since somebody told me how to double. There's, there's the automatic add to the block list, but there's another option you go through that filters out anything that she sends where it doesn't even come to me. It just <laughs> sends it to the cyber dump yard or trash can somewhere. But I will say something. I did want to meet her. I was curious to meet her face to face. But just watching her correspondence with me, if she was indeed actually a woman and real, wow, what a disaster it would have been to be in a relationship with a girl like that. Another classic American female, don't you dare point out her faults, but she's going to tell me all of mine. And that stuff, guys and girls, and women need to listen up. If all you can do is fault find men, but a guy turns around and points out a real deficiency in you, you might want to learn from that and stop being so ultra defensive and having the mentality there's nothing wrong with you, because that's crock. We all bring stuff to the table. I like the women that say, I, I want a man with no baggage. Just a woman saying that tells me you've got baggage and you've been around people with baggage and you've probably created some problems too. I find it interesting that Craigslist has become synonymous when you start telling somebody I met a woman on Craigslist, everybody rolls their eyes and says, Craigslist? Craigslist has been synonymous with literally some of the worst gals and yes, guys you could possibly meet up with. But what's sad is it's not just Craigslist. It's Zeus. It's eHarmony. It's Plenty of Fish. It's site after site after site after site of, you know, MySpace, all these other ones. That people are not, that they're just having bad experience after bad experience. And the problem with the dating site is a woman posts an ad, whether she's pretty or ugly, whether she's got a heart or no heart, 
and she will have multiple, multiple, multiple responses from men, which inflates her ego to be even more picky and more, oh, look at this. Craigslist dating apps. The women you'll find on Craigslist 99.9% .9 of the time aren't worth my time, your time, or anybody else's. Now, I know there's men, but I'm not going to read men's ads. I'm just not. Don't want to. But anyways, Pacific has weighed in. And I read to you some of the finest picks of Denver Craigslist women. Y'all have a good Sunday evening. This is Pacific signing off. Have a good week. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.